<laughs> my thing with the with the, the fifty year old kind of marker on him and putting out an album is like I've been listening to Big Hit lately. Oh man, fifty year old game banging dad. It's like we gotta just stop. We just gotta be like rapper. Like yeah, we, we can't no ageism. Yeah, man. Because even to the Nas point, I know you probably ain't listening to it, but some of those Nas albums they are eight. And like he fifty talking about kind of young nigga shit too. Just the way he talking about yeah. women and how he spends his money and how he makes his money. It's just kind of fly. So. It's something there. Um, I want to, I mean, the, the current crop of pop and rappers are so detrimental and low vibration sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> that's like you need no. that balance. Yeah. Like of someone, at least, at least if it ain't all just like positivity, at least it's yeah. just talking about some fly shit in a cool way. Nowadays, niggas just talking about how to kill somebody in a fly way. It's like, <laughs> I can't, Yo, can't rock on I hate way. to be the, I hate to be the, Uncle on the rocking chair and shit, but I think we all are in, the, in here. Yo, yeah. as somebody in a, in his late thirties who just exclusively just still wears streetwear, I don't own a tie. Uh, I don't, I don't age like I don't get ages with none of these guys. So when I hear yeah. Big Hit getting his shit off, I'm like, he just did a bid. He's fucking game yeah. still. Like, like whatever. <laughs> he talking that shit, but like there is a lost element of kind of just saying something, right? In rap, <laughs> and uh, it's like that's the most basic way I can say it. And it's funny because we were all like that too when we were younger, and we didn't want to hear Public Enemy, and we didn't want to hear whatever the fuck, and we wanted to hear Jay get jiggy. But it's 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 coming back around, but it's worser. I don't care. You can't convince <laughs> me that there's some hidden meaning to this shit that I'm not hearing because I'm not 19. Yeah. No, it's it's way worser, and we're just we. I mean, we watch some of these dudes record. They're just high, and they're just a bar and they punch a bar and then they come back and they get yeah. higher and they punch another bar and then they just, that's it. That's the crazy the, shit that's to me is like, remember we all had the allure of like people in the, in the booth recording. Like the <laughs> yeah. now they don't even do that no more. They're yeah. next to the engineer <laughs> recording on the mic uh, and then telling the engineer, no, like this, like, nah, work, it's, this it's bad. Just I just came out of a week of just being in the studio every single day with, different caliber of artists yeah. from around the spectrum and it's it's bad like it's bad i'm like i look at artists now i'm like even future like i love future he, why are you standing next to the engineer man get in the booth and do it i, I want that allure <laughs> the stories of future recording and i think he's a goat like i think he's yeah. we always say the big three i think he's a big four i think like all that so let me not disparage future but the stories of him recording and just running off five minutes of whatever and then yeah. engineer being put it together the, I mean, Meg the Stallion told the story right she he just she sent the, he sent over like five minutes of just shit yeah. and they just made a verse out of it I'm like what the fuck how is this but I believe it 100% like the literally. stories of Young Thug recording yeah. like mm -hmm. same shit I mean I'm talking to Alex like yeah he'll do some shit and it's like okay that third bar let's keep that one I'm like what yeah those are some <laughs> of my favorite videos on YouTube right now have you seen the videos on YouTube where people just have like hey this is the young thug with that 2015 the entire studio session and this is 40 <laughs> minutes of thug just <clears throat> and he's just clear to throw. he's doing one line yo run it back and he's doing it and then <laughs> the dude comes uh -huh. in but there's like a, takes 20 minutes to do his two lines but here's my thing there is a there is a level to me i think it's different there is definitely a difference between what thug and future are doing and what people are doing to mimic what they saw them do mm -hmm. yeah like, i exactly. think there is an artistry to what what thug is doing because w what you did notice in that video of course i watched it is that he was doing it in different inflections and he was doing yep. it in different tones and he was saying i don't like that tone because yeah in, in a way his voice was his instrument or is his instrument. yeah it's like singer yeah like the the one thing i'll say and i don't know if this is in the topic or not but the one the most detrimental thing to hip-hop is jay-z saying he doesn't write his lyrics down. yes there i was is. gonna say this <laughs> there it is i was gonna say this yeah. it ruined rap yeah it literally ruined this. it and like it's it's you know on the same wavelength like remember when wayne killed hip-hop and it yeah. was just like he was doing the same shit and we got to see his studio sessions and when he was re recording a uh, damn damn and he just was high as the fuck and just mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was like yo th this is how people think it works but yeah. like Wayne is actually crafting these no it's funny Wayne is still one of the best rappers mm -hmm. it, like because nobody else can rap as good somebody was asking me that recently like yo who can take the 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 torch from from Drake and Kendrick and calling like nobody because none of these motherfuckers want to be like that, that good. 
They and, just want to get in and get out up. and get their yeah. shit off. And remember, Kendrick had a Kendrick loved Carter Three. He had a song yep. about Carter Three. So like him and Drake, they looked up to that work ethic. So even if they yep. don't write or whatever, they look up to the. They were able to see Wayne in the studio doing all of that stuff. Yep. They and, took and, the right message from that shit. Yeah, a lot of people took the wrong message. Oh, I just got to get high as fuck and say whatever. Yeah. No, because, <laughs> That's like, Wayne, not what you... because Wayne, even even with him, and, and he ruined it even worse. Like to to Josh's point, Jay Z ruined it. Fucking Wayne put the put the shovel on the fucking dirt and just kept tapping that bitch because he was hyper serving us. Like Jay would give us an album a year. Wayne was hyper serving us doing that same that same thing. Like just being like, I'm gonna I'm going to say whatever. Mm-hmm. And then they're gonna make a song out of it. Matt uh Cortez make the song out of this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and so it's so it's like there are certain artists that do have that work ethic. That's why we love Future so much. That's why we love yeah. Doug so much because they still have that that hyper fixated work ethic. But now people are just doing whatever. Like I wanted to ask, and Josh, you probably don't have this point, but like, what was y'all's cutoff for new rappers? Like, what was your cutoff? What <laughs> oh, was yeah. just like I don't have it. Cardi. I still listen to new rappers. It was like, Cardi for me. I thought it was Uzi, but it was Cardi. I was I would have said it was Uzi, but now Uzi was close. Like same Uzi way. was really close. If he didn't have the joint, what's it called? Lamborghini Dreams with Thug, that was kind of yeah. like an entry point for me. And I could kind of get it. And Uzi was like, he was like saying some shit too. Like yeah, he would yeah. throw in some witty bars. He he kind of had he liked similes. Yeah. He, he was also like mad emotional. So it was like, <laughs> I love emotional music. It was like, cool, I could rock with this. But then when I hear Cardi and it's literally just him warbling on songs and just <laughs> repeating shit, and I'm like, I'm too old for this. But Cardi 2024 is showing that he kind of student of the game. So yeah, and it's it's, it's okay. funny because it's newer shit. Yeah, like what's that one called? Uh, it's not called Hood by Air. What is it called? The one Schoolboy Q shouted out. That was hard. I'm like, oh okay, like yeah. I get it. But again, we're talking about same thing with Thug, like inflections and him mm-hmm. using his voice as an instrument, that type of stuff. He sounds like I Thug just, on these songs. On these no, he does. And this is, I think that's why I like him. Yeah. Like, I just still old and I just like bars. Like, I just did a show. Let me, let me plug my show real quick. I did an episode, et cetera, with Benny the Butcher. There's an album coming out next week. So, the episode oh. coming out next week. Yeah, give me give me a sound effect yeah, somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and we just sat there and was like, yo, I just still like bars. Like, I don't, I, I know that makes me old or whatever, but I still like motherfuckers rap good. I'm sorry. Yeah. And we, <laughs> the funny enough, that led to a conversation about Cole and Drake and like they still care too. And we still like that shit and yeah. they can do all the other shit, but they still want to rap good. And them dudes should not be trading bars in year 20 for four minutes straight, but they did. Cause they give a fuck. And we're just <laughs> not getting that. We're yeah. just not getting that. I, like I love Dirk and I love and shit. Dirk is damn near 30 now. Like a lot of these dudes are getting older too, but I love a lot of these n- new dudes and I'll I be outside. So I hear this music and I love ice spice, but like, Ice Spice is not about to trade bars with Bia, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Bia can rap, but the they just don't engagement. care about that competition anymore, which is changes how they approach it. Yeah. Like, and when we say cut off, I mean like the level of engagement that I have with a lot of them now. It's like, yeah. I just like, like I'll listen and I'll be just off. it. I think maybe like gun is good to me. I really like gonna like, I can't, I love say, I, I can't say that's a cut off either. Like, mm. Even when I say like I just love hip hop so much, so like even if I say I'm cut, I'm cutting, I'm cutting it off. I can't really do that since yeah. there's always somebody that's gonna come, that's gonna come up later. But yeah. I, I wonder what's gonna be that point where we actually say like, and we talked about this before on the show. Is like who is that next guy that's willing, willing to step up? We just haven't seen yeah. it. No, I mean bands made the point earlier. I, this is a conversation I have daily at this yeah. point. Yeah. Um, none of these guys want to be the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the difference between this generation and the Drake Kendrick Cole generation. Mm-hmm. They all wanted to be the best rapper. Mm-hmm. These guys just want to make money. Um, Fuck all. Yeah, it's just like, and be famous and yeah. do drugs. And like, that's just the difference of where the generation is. Um, you know, there's a few that are promising, but they got to kind of turn that corner of like, hey, I want to be the best rapper. Yeah. And I just don't yeah. know if the, the money has clouded that. 